I almost had a rose moment. I was in this hotel ordering Uber Eats and- <laughs> You jumped out of the window <laughs> No, I was in my bathrobe and the lady doing my makeup was like, you can't go down there in the bathrobe. And I was like, yeah, actually now that the show is going, like, you don't want this to become a thing. It's art imitating life, like. Yeah. We're done. Gotta say off the bat, no matter what happens with the future of this show, season two, beyond, whatever happens, you two need to work together over and over again. <laughs> I could watch the two of you read the phone book. That's how much I enjoyed your chemistry on screen. Don't give him ideas. <laughs> we, yeah, could, <laughs> we could do a podcast, like a, a phone book podcast. A. <laughs> Cool. Double Thank A, you. triple A, go through the whole thing. But I mean, <laughs> two of you are so great. How did you foster that chemistry on screen together? Trauma, Trauma. bungee jumping. Yeah. I took really? her bungee jumping the first time we met. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I said no. And then I was like, no. Like a high pitch <laughs> no. And then I was like, okay. <laughs> and then next minute we're... Bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. And uh, Gabe was very good at it. And I was pushed off the bridge. As good as you can be at falling. <laughs> she was like the <laughs> inverse of that. <laughs> That's um, awesome. Yeah. So with the, there's a lot of action, obviously, in this type of show, and there's a lot of running. And Gabriel, you get to go into full Jack Bauer, Jason Bourne, badass mode in a lot of your scenes. And Luciani, you get to do that in a bathrobe and slippers. Um, what was the biggest challenge for both of you logistically in, this, in the stunts in this series? Well, I did all the fighting and stuff myself, and I did most of the stunts, but... Um, uh, my stuntman Matt would jump in if you know I got hit by a car or something. But um, for me, the biggest challenge was just trying not to bite off more than I could chew, like in rehearsals and throughout the whole process, just taking it a day at a time and because it's six months of that. So it's like there's a lot and we don't always have time. Like some of those fight scenes we rehearsed once or twice and then we're just had to shoot in a week. Yeah. So it's like, you know, a week from when you rehearsed it, so you'd have to be remembering stuff. So it was all pretty difficult in terms of scheduling, but um, that was the most difficult part for me, was just the scheduling as aspect of it. Yeah. But there's no way that I could have learned <laughs> things on this one. I'd be like, no, no, no. But I almost had a rose moment. I was in this hotel ordering Uber Eats and... <laughs> you jumped out of the window. <laughs> no, I was in my bathrobe and the lady doing my makeup was like, you can't go down there in the bathrobe. And I was like, yeah, actually, now that the show's going, like, you don't want this to become a thing. It's art imitating life. Like, yeah, so I was just like, okay. It's going to become a new trend, but... <laughs> Speaking of Rose, it's so unique because a lot of these series, you don't get the backstory for these characters and Rose's backstory is so vital mm. to this whole series. Yeah. What did you what did you bring to that character that wasn't already in the script? What, did you get to play with it at all? Yeah, I try to talk to some of the writers about like what happened with her past, with her parents, that she had to, that she was so close with her um, aunt, uncle. And we just kind of, try to make a backstory of our own. Um, and like, how how did she have a company at 28, 29 years old? Um, mm -hmm. Just little things like that. But most of what happens is, is in the story was based on what is actually happening. So um, I didn't have to like, there was just more for me as an actor to call on, yeah. And Gabriel, for you with the backstory for, you know, dealing with all the, the stuff with your character's dad and all of that, how uh, how was it bringing that together between the past and the current storyline? How did you kind of bring that into the character? Well, the past sort of motivates the present, I think, with anybody's sort of traumatic background. And Sean has a personal investment in that sort of questioning what your dad was really like. So talking to him was important. But also, I just think at every opportunity, um, reinforcing on screen that Peter wanted truth and he was pursuing truth, whether that be about his dad, whether that be, 
you know, trying to pry it from a politician. I think uh, just whatever he could do to get the truth he was doing. This runs deeper than you realize. And farther than you can imagine.